The Islands of Greece, Corfu. Corfu, Table of Contents. All about Corfu. With visiting and touring information, geography, history, attractions, and other points of interest. Dr. Sidney Socloff. Dr. Sidney22 at gmail.com. 2023. Narration by Dr. Sidney Socloff. Zoe Phonemes. And Nathan Cole Tove. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.1/ytnavigator. Chapter 1. The Islands of Greece, Corfu. This is the flag of Greece. Greece, in Greek, Elos, is officially the Hellenic Republic, Eleniki Demokratia. Greece lies at the juncture of Europe, Asia, and Africa. It is heir to the heritages of classical Greece, the Byzantine Empire, and nearly four centuries of Ottoman rule. Greece is regarded as the cradle of Western civilization and being the birthplace of democracy, Western philosophy, the Olympic Games, Western literature, political science, major scientific principles and drama, including both tragedy and comedy. Today, Greece is a developed country, a member of the European Union since 1981 and a member of the Economic and Monetary Union of the European Union. Where's Greece? Greece is in the eastern Mediterranean, just to the east of Italy and to the west of Turkey. Greece is bounded on the west by the Ionian Sea, and on the east by the Aegean Sea. Greece is bounded on the north by Albania, Macedonia, and Bulgaria. Directly to the north, and to the east across the Aegean Sea is Turkey. The island of Crete is part of Greece. To the south of Greece is the Sea of Crete, and the larger Mediterranean Sea. Greece was influential in Europe, Northern Africa, and the Middle East. Greece has a population of 11 million. Among countries of the world, Greece is in 75th place, just below Serbia in population, and just above Portugal and Belgium. The population of Greece is about one-sixth that of Italy. Greece's largest cities are Athens, 3.2 million, Thessaloniki, 1 million, Patra, 220,000, Larissa, 210,000, Iraklio, 190,000, and Volos, 152,000. Greece has a mountainous and craggy mainland jutting out into the sea at the southern end of the Balkans. Four fifths of Greece consist of mountains or hills making the country one of the most mountainous in Europe. The Pindus Mountains in Greece are an extension of the Dinaric Alps, which runs from the Alps of Switzerland down the Balkans through Greece. The Peloponnesus Peninsula is separated from the mainland by the canal, cutting across the Isthmus of Corinth. The Corinth Canal cuts through the Isthmus of Corinth and separates the Peloponnesian Peninsula from the Greek mainland therefore effectively making the peninsula an island. What time is it in Greece? Let's take a look at the time zones in Europe. We see that the Mediterranean Sea spans three time zones. In the western end Spain is GMT plus one. But across the Strait of Gibraltar, Morocco is on GMT. From Spain through France, Italy and the Balkans it is GMT plus one. At the eastern end, Greece and Turkey are GMT plus 2, and Russia is GMT plus 3. The Greek commercial fleet is the largest in the world, and almost all of the main shipping companies have offices in Piraeus. Here are the rankings of the world merchant fleet by country of ownership, 2001, in millions of DWT, deadweight tons. We see that Greece is indeed the leader. Followed by Japan, Norway, 
in the United States. The Ionian Sea. The Ionian Sea is an arm of the Mediterranean Sea, south of the Adriatic Sea. It is bounded by southern Italy, including Sicily to the west, and by southwestern Albania and Greece to the east. The Ionian Sea has a large number of Greek islands. The islands are collectively referred to as the Ionian Islands. Corfu is the second largest of the Ionian Islands. These are the Ionian Islands. The Ionian Sea is one of the most seismic areas in the world. Chapter 3 The principal town of the island of Corfu is also named Corfu, or Kaira in Greek, with a population of 30,000. Corfu is the second largest of the Ionian Islands, and the Corfu cruise port is a popular stop for Mediterranean cruises, beautiful beaches, flora and fauna, and the captivating history. Make Corfu one of the most attractive ports of call in the Mediterranean, the most green of the Greek islands. Corfu has three million olive trees. The island of Corfu, Kerkira in Greek, has everything one would expect of a great Greek holiday, a rich architectural and cultural tradition, and an opportunity to sample moussaka and dalmatis. The island of Corfu is 40 miles long and 20 miles across and has some of the best beaches in the region. Along with many of the other Ionian islands, it is lush with tropical flora and fauna. Chapter 4 The History of Corfu Throughout its history, Corfu has been an island power. Its earliest colonists came from Corinth, and Corfu soon became quite competitive. Then, in 664 BC, the first recorded naval battle in Greek history occurred between the two fleets. This rivalry led to the Peloponnesian War. Some 200 years later, from 229 AD to 337 AD, Corfu was part of the Roman Empire, and from 337 AD to 733 AD, the Byzantine Empire. For 400 years between the 14th and 18th centuries, Corfu, under serious threat from Turks and pirates, was protected by the Venetian Republic. The Venetian Republic disintegrated. And during the Napoleonic Wars, Corfu and other Ionian islands were briefly part of the French Empire. From 1814 to 1864, Corfu was independent under British protection. In 1864, Corfu and the Ionian islands joined the Greek Kingdom. Prince Filippos of Greece and Denmark was born in Corfu in 1921, and grew up to become Britain's Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Chapter 5 Corfu Town Ships to the Corfu port of Caldock at the new port, Lyman. Complimentary shuttle services are available to the passenger services terminal while some cruise lines provide shuttles to and from Corfu Town. This is a satellite view of the cruise port and Corfu Town, or Kairakaira. A taxi ride from the cruise port to Kairakaira is about 8 to 10 euros. Corfu Town is a 30-minute walk from the port. Corfu Town is Venice and Naples, a touch of France, and more than a dash of England. A part of course from being Greek, Countess Flambury. Corfu town or Kerkira is a busy modern city in the capital of the island. Within its walls is its old town. Corfu town has a mixture of Italianate architecture, Venetian monuments, an exceptional Byzantine church, and the Liston, a French arcade that is the center of cafe life. Corfu has experienced battles and conquests. 
This has left behind castles in strategic locations across the island. Two of these castles enclose the old town. The only area in Greece to be surrounded in such a way. As a result, Corfu's capital has been officially declared a Castropolis, castle city, by the Greek government. The main town of Corfu is one of the most interesting cities in Greece. Due to the heavy influence of the Venetians who for centuries controlled the island. Like the other Ionian islands Corfu was never occupied by the Turks. Which gives it a character very different from the rest of Greece. However, Corfu town has seen other influences. Including the British, the Normans, the French, and the Greeks and Romans whose ancient buildings are still in evidence in several archaeological sites and the Archaeological Museum. The population of the town of Corfu is about 30,000 and is quite cosmopolitan compared to the other islands of Greece. The theater of San Giacomo is constructed entirely of stone in the style of the Italian Renaissance. It had its foundations first laid in 1663 and is just one example of the many historical buildings. Chapter 6 Points of Interest on Corfu Corfu Town is a good place for shopping, cafe hopping and dining, or just meandering along the Venetian-like walkways. Most tourist stores are located within the walls of Old Town. The more contemporary shops and boutiques are found in the adjacent city. Beyond that, there are significant historic sites in Corfu Town and Old Town. The Liston is a complex of buildings with arched fronts in the center of town, with cafeterias and restaurants. The historic town center's primary shopping and restaurant district lies just behind the Liston. The maze of tiny Venetian alleyways behind the Liston has some of the Old Town's most picturesque architecture, with a blend of the Renaissance. Baroque and neoclassic styles. In 2007, Corfu's old town was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This shows the location of the Liston and the cruise ship shuttle stop. The tour train is a good way to see Karakura. This shows the location of the tour train and the cruise ship shuttle stop. The tour train has a 40 minute loop at a cost of 5 euros. The Aeus Spyridon Church is behind the Liston and is considered to be the most important church on all of the Ionian Islands. The Aeus Spyridon Church is dedicated to Corfu's patron saint, whose body is kept in a sarcophagus next to the altar. This shows the location of the Aeus Spyridon Church. The Old Fort is one of the two fortresses of the town of Corfu. The Old Fort, Esplanade, was begun in the 16th century by the Venetians. The other of the two fortresses of Corfu is the Old Fortress. They are separated from Corfu by a canal, called Contrafossa. The Venetians built bastions, winding galleries and tunnels. They also erected buildings to house the military and political authorities. These bastions are considered masterpieces of military engineering. The old fortress stands over the Esplanade, Spianida Square, and is linked to the town by a fixed iron bridge 60 meters in length. This bridge used to be wooden and was drawn up to isolate the fortress for greater safety. The prime attraction of the archaeological museum is the pediment from the Temple of Artemis. The museum has many other ancient treasures, as well. This shows the location of the archaeological museum at Demokratias and the Esplanade. In the Museum of Asian Art, excellent porcelain and bronze from the Chinese Shuang Dynasty are displayed along with Japanese wood cuttings and paintings. There are several other municipal museums in the Old Royal Palace, where the Asian Museum is located. The Old Synagogue in Corfu dates back 400 years. Pontikanisi, or Mouse Island as it is popularly known, 
and Vlahern are two tiny islands that serve as Corfu's visual signature. Pontkinisi, or Mouse Island, which has a convent, and Vlaherna with its 12th century Byzantine church, are the two most scenically beautiful islands of Corfu. Near Paliopolis are the archaeological ruins, which include Roman baths, an ancient dockyard, a Doric temple, and an early Christian basilica. The island of Vlaherna houses a small convent. It is a 30-minute walk from Old Town. Chapter 7 Outside Corfu The Achelian Palace, in the village of Gastery, five miles south of Corfu City, was built in 1890. It displays some interesting frescoes, sculptures, and a huge bronze statue of the mythical hero, Achilles. The Achelian Palace is a neoclassical mansion named for Achilles. A huge four-ton bronze sculpture of the mythical hero dominates the back gardens. In the black and white terrace of the Colonnade of the Muses, statues of gods, heroes, muses, and poets are displayed. The small village of Polyakastritsa is known for its Byzantine monastery of Theodicus. The island of Corfu is 40 miles long and 20 miles across. It has some of the best beaches in the region. Along with many of the other Ionian islands, Corfu is lush with tropical flora and fauna. One of the closest beaches to Old Town is Mun Repose. It is just a 15-minute walk on the promenade south of Old Town, and is a local favorite with its importance and taverna, bar and changing rooms. Just behind the Mon Repos Beach is the Mon Repos Estate, or Paleopolis, which houses some of the best preserved archaeological ruins on the island. Among the remains are Roman baths, an ancient dockyard, a Doric temple and an early Christian basilica. Staying in touch in Corfu town, there are two popular internet cafes. Cyber Cafe Corfu, Garda Kitty 3, just 200 meters from the port, and Cafe Online, Capital Street 28, behind the Liston Arcade. These are some typical houses of Corfu City. This is the Corfu City Hall. This shows the location of the Corfu City Hall. Shopping Corfu Town is a great place for shopping. The souvenir shops are located within the walls of the old town, and there are boutiques and other interesting shops in the adjacent city. Maradica Village is a modern tourist resort of just 600 residents, 20 kilometers from Corfu Town. There are many shops that sell clothes, jewelry, leather goods, olive wood sculptures, and olive products. Chapter 8 For the first time visitor, a good way to see the main sights of Corfu town is by means of the hop on hop off bus. The Corfu City Tour offers two loops of their hop on hop off bus. Audio headsets with commentary are available in eight different languages. Line A The City Tour is from the New Port to Canoni and back at a frequency of every 30 minutes. The route from the departure point to the terminal lasts approximately 70 minutes, and you can hop off and hop on at any of the six intermediate stops. Line B, the Achillean tour, is from the Newport to the Achillean Palace and back at a frequency of every 30 minutes. The route from the departure point to the terminal lasts approximately 90 minutes, and you can hop off and hop on at any of the six intermediate stops. This is a map and list of stops of the Corfu City Tours. This is a map showing the cruise port stop and some of the other points of interest near the route of the Corfu City Tour. Another bus route is city sightseeing. The ticket is valid for 24 hours. Multilingual audio commentary in eight languages is available.
There are two bus tour routes with a total of 14 stops around Corfu. Line 1. The Canoni Line has seven stops. The entire loop takes 60 minutes. The frequency is 20 minutes. The stops are Corfu Newport, Canoni Hotels, Heleni, Royal, Arity, Holiday Palace, the Monrepo Palace, Anamomalus, Spianida Square, Spelia Square, and the Old Port. Line 2. The Achillean Line has seven stops. The entire loop takes 90 minutes. The frequency is 60 minutes. The stops are Corfu Newport, Gastri Square, Achillean Palace, Parama, Spianida Square, Spilia Square, and the Old Port. One of the stops of the city sightseeing hop on. Hop off buses is at the cruise port. Corfu Newport. This is a map of the city sightseeing routes around Corfu. Chapter 9 The Climate of Corfu Will it be hot? Or will it be cold on Corfu? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in Corfu. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in Corfu. The daytime temperatures in the winter months are a cool 58 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, or 14 to 15 degrees Celsius. At night, the temperatures drop to a more comfortable 40 to 44 degrees Fahrenheit, or 5 to 6 degrees Celsius. The daytime temperatures in the summer months are a warm 82 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, or 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. At night, the temperatures drop to a comfortable 61 to 63 degrees Fahrenheit, or 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. Rainfall in Corfu Here is the average rainfall in inches throughout the year in Corfu. The total yearly rainfall is 32.6 inches, or 828 millimeters. Here is the average rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in Corfu. Here is the average number of days per month with rainfall throughout the year in Corfu. Recommended videos, Corfu. Recommended video, Corfu Vacation Travel Video Guide, Great Destinations. Recommended video, Must See Places in Corfu Island, Greece. Recommended video, Corfu Town Greece 17 Things to Do in Corfu Town. Recommended video, Corfu Island, Best Places to Visit in Greece. Corfu, Table of Contents. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.